Hi! Welcome to our virtual lesson. I am Teacher Charlie. Today, you will learn about noun. Are you excited? Me too! Let's begin! Let us study about noun. What is the objective of this lesson? You're expected to use the common and proper nouns in a sentence. I have here fruits. Do you like to eat these kinds of fruits? Can you name them? Let's try to name the fruits. What is this one? Yes, this is a mango. How about this fruit? Is this your favorite fruit? Yes, this is an apple. I like apple too. How about this one? What is the name of this one? Yes, this is a banana. How about this one? Yes, you are correct. This is an orange. These fruits are things. These are nouns. What is a noun? Noun is the name of persons, places, things, animals, and events. Here are some examples of nouns. Dogs are animals. Flowers are things. Tables are things. Two types of nouns, common noun and proper noun. What are common nouns? Common nouns refer to general name of persons, places, things, animals, and events. Remember, they don't begin with a capital letter. Here are examples of common nouns. Say it with me. Name of persons like girl, teacher, doctor, farmer. Name of places like city, province, hospital, river. Name of things like car, flower, pencil, table. Name of animals like Cat, dog, bird, rabbit. Name of events like fiesta, birthday, party, holiday. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns refer to particular or specific names of persons, places, things, animals, and events. They begin with a capital letter. Particular name of persons like John, Mark, Cherry. Particular name of places like Trinidad, Cebu, Tagbilaran City. Particular name of things like Mongol, Samsung, Yamaha. Specific name of animals like Brownie, Bantai, Lexi. Specific name of events like Christmas, National Heroes Day, Independence Day. Did you understand about noun? Let's try to answer activity number one. Write the nouns under the appropriate columns. Book, George, Bag, Beach, party, school, nurse, horse. If they belong to person, place, thing, animal, or event. Let us check your answer.
book is a thing. George is the name of person. Bag is a thing. Beach is a place. Party is an event. School is a place. Nurse is a person. Horse is an animal. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good! Now, let's try to answer activity number two. Are you ready? Identify the nouns. Write the words in the correct box. Chicken, Helen, Park, Cardo, Cebu, Dress. If they belong to proper noun or common noun. I know this is easy. Let's check your answer. Chicken is a common noun. Helen is a proper noun. Park is a common noun. Cardo is a proper noun. Cebu is a proper noun. Dress is a common noun. Remember, proper noun begins with a capital letter. Common noun does not begin with a capital letter. Wow! You are ready now to answer activity number three. Identify the pictures and use them to complete the sentences. Number one. The black are reading the story. Number two. Jonah prepares a fresh blank. Number three. My mother likes blank. Number four. I wash my hands with blank and water. Number five. The blank are chirping. Number six. Blank is my favorite pet. Are you done answering? Let's check! Here are the answers. In number one, girls. Number two, apple. Number three, flowers. Number four, soap. Number five, birds. Number six, dog. Did you get all the correct answers? Wow! Excellent! How about answering activity number four? Let us enrich your minds. Choose the given words, the one that makes the most sense for each sentence. Number one, I put my things in the blank. Bag, cloud, wind. Number two, the blank shines brightly. Moon, sun, rainbow. Number three. Be safe and stay at blank. Street, home, river. Number four. Wash your blank and keep them clean. Hands, oil, nest. Number five. Use face blank to protect from harm. Gum, glove, mask. Are you done answering? Let's try to check your answer. Here are the answers. In number one, bag. Number two, sun. Number three, home. Number four, hands. Number five, mask. And now, this is for your enrichment. Let's answer activity number five. Are you ready? Say yes! Yes! Read each sentence. Write the nouns in the given sentences. Identify the noun, whether it is proper or common noun. Number one, Carla enjoys writing a poem. Number two, Ben is helping Dr. Gomez in the hospital. Number three, Miguel is a good policeman. Number four, 
My brother lives in Cebu. Number five. The teacher taught her pupils very well. Let's try to check your answer. For number one, Carla enjoys writing a poem. Carla and poem are nouns. Carla is a proper noun. Poem is a common noun. For number two, Ben is helping Dr. Gomez in the hospital. Ben, Dr. Gomez, and hospital are nouns. Ben is a proper noun. Dr. Gomez is a proper noun. Hospital is a common noun. For number three, Miguel is a good policeman. Miguel and policeman are nouns. Miguel is a proper noun. Policeman is a common noun. For number four, my brother lives in Cebu. Brother and Cebu are nouns. Brother is a common noun. Cebu is a proper noun. For number five, the teacher taught her pupils very well. Teacher and pupils are nouns. Teacher is a common noun. Pupils is a common noun. Wow, you are so smart. How about answering activity number six? Use the given nouns in a sentence. Remember, sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. Number one, doctor. Number two, bohol. Number three, Ann Curtis. Number four, President Duterte. Number five, Balpen. Are you done making your own sentence? Let's check. Observe and learn. I know you are writing a good sentences. Your teacher will guide you. Each of you construct your own sentences by using the given proper or common nouns. Don't forget, a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. Try to read the sentences. The doctor cures the disease. I live in the province of Bohol. And Curtis is a beautiful actress. President Duterte is a good leader. I use my ballpen in writing. Congratulations! You're doing a good work. You already know what is a noun and how to use common and proper nouns in a sentence. You already learned now about proper noun and common noun. Here are my references. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. This is Teacher Charlie. Thank you for watching.